Hello and welcome to this grief painting art therapy session number six. It's a few weeks since I did uh, my last grief painting and things have pretty much remained the same. I realised that this is a long process. So I decided that I would do another painting. And I came across this artist called Seth Remsnyder. That's it, if it's pronounced right. <laughs> uh, and he did a series of grief paintings to say goodbye to his son, who was stillborn. And I thought they were really lovely. And so I'd like to focus on a similar technique that Seth uses, which is to do, make a painting and paint outside of the canvas, over the edges. So I thought we'd do something like that today. And what I've got is a palette, paint box, whatever you want to call it, of multiple colours, ready mixed. And I've made a little sort of, I don't know, key. And what I've done is I've just put a blob of paint down from each pan. This is watercolour and I've just associated a word to do with grief with that colour. I mean this might change, you know, and you might feel very differently about these colours than I do. So make a little test sheet and just put a blob of colour and just look at all the colours at once Think about all the different kinds of emotions that you're going through and try and associate a word for each of those emotions to each of the colours that you've got access to. Okay, so that's the first job. And then the second job is to use something like this. I've got... Um, a piece of mixed media paper here. So mixed media paper is paper that you can use for watercolour, acrylic and so on. Pastel. I'm just trying to get this right so we can see what's going on. Okay and I've drawn a box onto the paper I think that's more or less okay. And then I'll bring my palette down so you can see all the colours. And I've just got some water and a fairly big round brush here. So all I did was I drew, measured in from the side of my paper. So you can do this on a sheet of canvas if you've got one, or even just a piece of old cardboard painted white. You don't have to have professional materials necessarily to do these paintings but I measured in three inches from the right and four inches from the top and bottom and I created a rectangle within the rectangle of paper. Only one thing to say is don't use normal paper like photocopier paper or sketchbook paper because it will just cockle as in um, when it becomes wet, it will wrinkle with the amount of water on it. Okay, so once I did that, I just painted this in a single colour, um, quite a sort of pale green colour I chose. And this colour I associate with emptiness. So... A nice pale colour to begin with, just to get rid of the white background on this section of the paper. And then I'm just going to, as Seth does, I'm just going to choose colours and I'm going to work them inside and outside of this rectangular space. So I don't know whether Seth intentions were to um, 
sort of think outside of oneself but to me it seems like what he's trying to say from the paintings is that you have this individual thing happening grief and there's so much going on outside of that as well as inside you that you need to think about so I think that's probably why he went outside of the box um, or the shape of the canvas he even worked onto walls which is quite interesting to recognize the fact that you know there's lots of aspects to this situation there's you and what's going on inside of you and what's going on inside of other people that are associated with um, with you and then what's going on in the world beyond you okay so I'm going to start with some of the darker colors I'm going to start with with black so I've got a big brush and I'm just wetting the watercolor you can do this with acrylic as well um, just depends what you have available to you really I suppose and also think about the amount of those colors that you want on this paper so I'm just doing long swirly shapes I'm going to take the black off the outside so I've started within myself and I'm going over the edge and it's it flows the darkness flows everywhere inside me outside me and beyond me okay so I'm going to work myself back through the layers of darker colors um, and then I've got despair so again when I think of despair I I'm just thinking about myself really my despair pretty much encompasses me I don't really see anybody else I mean I understand that somebody like my relatives might be in despair but I, I I'm very much involved in my own despair at the moment and not really thinking very generously about other people's despair exhaustion I am exhausted I mean it's four months since my mother died and I'm finding the whole process completely exhausting so I need to put quite a lot of this here so I'm going to put that going in and I'm going to put it going all the way around this box because it's everywhere the exhaustion just doesn't seem to dissipate grief yeah grief mm. grief is everywhere so I'm going to do that coming from the outside and across the middle so it's cutting me in half sickness I feel sick most days wake up feeling sick um, I think that's down to the fact that I, I you know when you as, you as you wake up you remember what's happened you go to sleep you have some peace I suppose in sleeping and then you wake up and you realize nothing's changed so that makes me feel sick um, I, I suppose that's just me so I am going to just put that in there. Um, and then we go through the loss and the emptiness um, colours, all of which are sort of greens. So I've got loss, which is enormous, much bigger than I ever expected it to be. So I'm going to put that coming down quite large and I'm going to put it all, all over the place 
and going off the edge again everywhere the loss is massive um, depression um, I recognize depression because it has you know I've had uh, small bouts of depression in the past um, and this feels a bit different to depression I can recognize it as an entirely different um, feeling so I'm just going to put depression outside the box I don't feel like it's there. Confusion, yeah, lots of confusion. Confusion about um, what's happened, how things are gonna change, is this permanent? So I'm just gonna put that down the middle. Sort of half and half. Not really sure what's gonna happen loneliness oh no hang on yeah loneliness where are we there this is more a blue color really we're going into the blues now oh no i've got sadness sorry sadness right sadness is everywhere so i have to put quite a lot of this down so i'm going to just put it everywhere Um, frustration very straightforward frustration um, sharpness um, that's sort of coming in and out mainly when I'm tired so I'm going to do it coming in and out and in and out so I see that going up and down that's my temper chaos chaos not so much chaos chaos of it more uncertainty about um, the chaos of how things are happening when things are changing don't really know about that I'm going to put that over here chaos uh, trauma yes trauma I feel very traumatized to the point that I feel sort of really foggy so I'm just going to put that down in here and I'm going to let it fog amongst all the other colours very traumatised in fact I think I might put another one of those up here traumatised lots of angles and facets to trauma okay so now I've got pain and anger so pain, lots of pain, circles of pain. I'm going to do several of those circles of pain inside and outside of the box, large and small aspects of pain. Uh, anger, mm, not quite a lot of anger. I'm going to put that inside the pain. Inside. Like that. Um, and then we're going into the more sort of positive. Um, feelings so we've got joy and love right so love is this pink tone very soft gentle I do remember aspects of love 
both inside and outside. Um, I feel like I'm not able to remember the love. The pain is so strong that the love that we, I felt for my mother is sort of in the background really. I need to start bringing that forward if I can. Um, I just don't know how. So I'm going to do this as a sort of stop start so it ends it doesn't go in it sort of comes in every now and again and then stops and then we're into kind memories memories are strong um lots outside myself and quite a lot inside myself too memories it's kind of difficult to grasp hold of the memories because the pain is so strong kindness mother mum my mum was very kind in all aspects, inside and outside. So I will put that all over. All the way around in a circle. Okay, and love. Everywhere. But again, I can't think of it really. It's not taking priority at the moment. Okay. So I think that's more or less done. I've used every colour. You can see that I started off with sort of dark blacks and browns, blues, greens. And as the layers have gone on, they've dried off. And then the stronger tones have come in the sort of pain, anger tones, the reds and the pinks, but also the love and the joy tones, the pinks and the oranges and the warmth and the memories and the, the kindness. And you can see that the pain and the kindness tones are sort of standing out in front of, mainly because I've worked them on top, but they are stronger colours. So they're lying on top of the loss and the loneliness and the sadness. So hopefully that's indicative of what will happen. But this result, this series of colourful, chaotic marks, might help you think about how you're coping with the grief. I'd rather seeing the picture as a sort of grey, dark, depressing scene. You can see all those feelings acting together, going through the loss and maybe forging a new path. Uncertain path, but maybe by the end of this picture, you might have given it some more thought and maybe come to some conclusions. Maybe you haven't, maybe you've just enjoyed doing the picture. But Seth is concerned with getting lost in the canvas and giving yourself permission to feel that you're overwhelmed and maybe that the art is part of letting go. So I hope you've enjoyed this. 
I hope it helps. And have a look at my other grief paintings. Maybe do those as well. You could even come back, let this dry off, come back and work into it again. Okay, stay safe and look after yourself. That's all for now. See you next time. Bye.